Digo lets you save public or private bookmarks. Let's look at how to do that. First of all, one way is to log in to the Digo website. You can see I'm logged in here. And when you're logged in, click on this plus sign. Click bookmark to add a bookmark. And this is where you want to paste the URL. I'm going to go grab the instructional designer competencies list. And paste that there, the URL. Click on next. Now I have a lot of options, but what we're going to focus on right now is this private checkbox. If I check this private checkbox, this resource will be private. It'll be in my private library and only I will be able to see it. If, however, I want to share it with others easily, I'll want to deselect private or make sure that it's not selected so that the resource will be public. Once I've made that determination and filled out the other information, I can add the resource and there it is right there. So that's the first way. Add the Digo website, clicking on the plus sign. A second way is, let's say you're browsing, and here I am using the Chrome browser, and I'm at OpenStax, which is an OER website, a repository of a lot of different resources. And I have installed the uh, Digo Chrome extension, as you can see by this little D in the upper right-hand corner. And if I want to bookmark this site, I click on that, I say save bookmark. I get this window that opens up with the title and I can add a description. And because I'm using the browser extension, it already knows the URL. There's no copying and pasting. I can add my tags. Um, and again, we'll be discussing that in a future video. But here's our public and private option here. Deselect for public or select for private and then save it. Now this comes up and you can edit, you can add sticky notes and uh, so on. That's also for later, just be aware that that's there and that will show up whenever you go to a website that you've already bookmarked as well. So that's very convenient when you have this little Deagle that installed or this extension. All right, so our First way was directly in the Digo library at the Digo website, clicking on the plus sign. A second way was using our browser extension. A third way, and I'll shift to a different browser here. We're here at the Creative Commons, and I have a Digolet installed on this browser, where if I click on it, it expands this toolbar where I can add a bookmark. The URL is there, the title, public and private, description, and so on. Just like in the other ones, it just looks slightly different and the uh, because we're using a Digolet rather than a browser extension. And then you add these and save. And if I go back to my library, you'll see there it is, Creative Commons plus the OpenStax plus the Instructional Designer Competencies, all just add it. So those are our three ways. Add the Digo website, using a browser extension, and or using the Digolet. The choice is yours. Personally, I prefer using the browser extension or the Digolet. It makes it much easier than having Windows, a window open to your Digo library and um, another browser window that you're finding resources and then copying and pasting the URL. But the choice is yours. Have fun and enjoy.